Kids are falling behind in education. I'm your state capital reporter, Alana Johnson. According to a national survey released earlier this month, kids in Michigan are falling behind in the classroom. So I talked to some people in our community about the ways that they can improve the gaps. To hear, you know, how exciting it was to be able to read the billboards or read her prescription from the doctor or um, read a recipe in a book. Wherever words appear, Barbara Schmidt has a passion for helping our neighbors read it. For over 40 years, she and other volunteers at the Reading People has helped others improve their literacy skills. And we have a huge building full of books that we love to give to the community. They're free of charge. You don't have to sign up. Books that are free for anyone to take. Books that can make a difference in someone's life. I mean, there's so many things that are literacy-based, and if you can't read, you're missing out on a lot of stuff. And that's more important now than ever with a new report regarding Michigan's children. So when it comes to education specifically, Michigan was in the bottom 10 states for the second year in a row in education. That's according to the Kids Count Data Book, a nationwide report that showed 72% of Michigan fourth graders are not proficient in reading. So why is this happening? Ann Cohen, the Kids Count Policy Director, believes it's because kids might not be economically secure at home. Families might be struggling with housing insecurity. They might not have sufficient food to eat. They might not, not even have a safe way to get to school. The search for solutions expands beyond the reading people. In Hazlitt, the Well Education Center is a faith-based organization that helps children with dyslexia to improve their literary skills. We kind of merge this phonics literacy with also trying to share the gospel. So we are in the process of creating our own curriculum, um, which we want to make accessible to anyone at no cost. Another effort to get kids to read the words, wherever they may be. Education is a topic that will be addressed in the upcoming school aid budget bill in the Capitol, expected to be approved sometime this week. In Lansing, Alana Johnson, Fox 47 News.